Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck into new world for another build video. Today we're gonna speak about the sword and shield. The sword and shield is amazing to fight angry earth and have a nice empowerment called leadership. With leadership you give empowerment to your teammates so this is great but it's only a group of 5 people. Your tank gonna have it but if you are into a raid you're gonna have another group so if you want some empowerment from leadership into your other group well you're gonna need another sword and shield and this is why we do this build right now. This build is focused mainly on using the sword because if you use your secondary your teammate gonna lose the empowerment from the leadership so your main goal is just to use the sword and shield the whole time it's a good about how to main sword and shield without swapping weapon all right i don't think i've made any mistake with the passive but you can try other stuff around, I'm pretty sure it can work, alright? But uh, I decided to use those because they have more like, uh, how to say that, they have more effect into the DPS and um, it's reduced the cooldown of itself so I'm just able to use it more. Uh, the reduction cooldown, uh, there's another there. So like... You, you can do a rotation and then uh, reduce a lot your cooldown with that and I like it uh, instead of just gaining a bit of movement for almost no reason. Uh, and this is 2 hit, the Whirling Blade is 2 hit of 80% so it hit harder than Leaping Strike, it put a rend, uh, you see I'm Light Armor 15% rend, uh, it, it's amazing seriously. Uh, I have no complaint. I tried this build and I like it. Uh, you can see right there I have the opportunist. It's 10% against the people slowed. And this is why I took this passive over there on the shield rush. It's a AOE slow 5 meter wide. 30% for 4 seconds. This is insane when you think about it. When you're gonna manage to stack the ads, you're gonna see there's an ads phase into a boss, and then you need to like stack them up. It's pretty hard. When when you get when you finally manage to put them together and you put a shield rush, they're gonna stay slow, 30% slower for four seconds. They're gonna stay clumped. It's gonna be better for you. So I think this is very good. And then you gain the 10% damage buff on any slowed fool. So this is mostly for the ads phase. I don't think it have any effect on the boss. But still there's not that much passive that gives you that much bonus. Uh, so this is why I chose that. And at the same time putting more point into this. It helped me reach the recuperation. And you know having more incoming healing is a must. Uh, seriously why not. The ace is amazing so you see it can save your life because i have the ace i don't need leaping strike um so and i have the rapier you're gonna see my i to use the secondary is my rapier so i have the movement to the moon so final attack uh, i apply rand uh, i'm not gonna start to explain all this because you can read this uh, it just made no sense for me to just explain all this all right so let's go straight on the rapier. So this is my rapier tree. Usually you're not gonna use a rapier because uh, your sword and shield scale of strength and dex and your rapier intel. So this is mostly just an evade build. I'm not gonna hit with my rapier. So uh, maybe getting the stamina would be good to use flesh it through our opponent and maybe get it. But I, I just don't even want to hit mob too much with it. It just very very useless uh, and this is why like right now it don't show but uh, I had uh, I put myself to 100 con just to make everyone happy because I did some guide with 5 con and people was not liking it people want to know about the 100 con build and the lower so uh, what happened you put 100 con like this 
you're gonna put your strength to the maximum and then you're gonna put the rest uh, over there Let, let's do it just to, to make it sure i don't care about spending money too much uh, you see so i reach 100 with this build so this is perfect and i'm gonna reach that because why well, i reach that mostly because the sword is scaling more of strength than dex so this is why i put the rest in dex and then there's a bit about the passive too uh, backstab and headshot is a nice thing but you cannot backstab most of those boss during the boss fight so it's not the one that you need the most there's like one boss fight that you can hit the back but the two or third no and it, they are pretty hard to hit in the back so it's not that much a big deal uh, and like if you like are missing some point because you want more con or something you can take off some decks over there you see that passive is not really good so yeah and then if you want to take uh have less con then you're just gonna add in dexterity and this is simple your, your goal is to reach that by taking 50 con and that's it like uh, i don't think you need to go under 50 con in red there's no leaderboard uh, the speed and sh maybe there's one i'm just not looking leaderboard uh, anymore because i don't care anymore about the game that much like i like new world but i already got all the top one leaderboard in pve like I, I i done my stuff and it's the same like right now if you want to try the entry and stuff it's gonna be easy to be top leaderboard because there's no all the good people like me are bored and they don't want to do it anymore all right so this is the, the stats so the gear i took some gear uh in my locker it's one of my alts so like yeah it's complicated sometimes the most important thing to remember about the gear it's mostly the sword shield and the rapier i'm gonna explain more the armor but i'm gonna start with the weapons since it's the most important all right this shield it's not always you're not gonna always hit in the back like i said so keen gain some power enchanted gain some power into that and then shield aggression is always good and fortified shield rush is always good too so if i wanted to be better maybe you take off keen to put vicious on oh, no, it's the enchanted that you need to take off to put vicious but even then like you you cannot backstab like you want so this bit did this shield if you if it was 725 it would be almost this all right best in slot and then there's the the sword maybe you can get some better sword than that maybe you can get some better shield than that but this one worked really good uh, usually those are cheap into the market between 3k to like 20k uh, refreshing move just gonna help me to cast more ability so i'm gonna do more dps at the end and king vicious like i said i'm not hitting in the back i did not even upgrade my finisher and i you see today i just did the red just before doing my video i completed the red my my, <laughs> my main goal was to complete the red and i did it and i forget to record like i stopped my record i forget to restart it and oh i wasted my like now it's 2 a.m and i'm recording <laughs> my video and i only have to start uh, the first boss man uh, all right it's not a big deal so you want the vines of fire kick your boat uh, work really good uh, you're more melee so maybe more vines than the fire kick uh the lead chain is pretty good lead chain rt and then if you want something uh to hit harder you're gonna get like slash damage uh, or like keen or something uh but yeah i feel like rt leeching and then slash damage would be like the best but you are probably empower cap uh, a lot of time so yeah the the rest is just the common stuff and then for the armor uh you have the choice if you really want to make min max to the moon you're gonna go take the natsu rat chest piece and look my other video about like the secret technique about the natsu rat chest piece because making that build you're gonna have to invest more and, and stuff like that and right now this this like uh the feeder weight is like the easiest way to make some build that work and that you are not gonna like die easily because you are gonna have more armor so 
let's say that the feature weight is like the most casual build way to run dungeon and you're gonna die less and then the one that would be a bit less casual would be the attuned leather pants that did a bit better than the feature wages because you gain some stats and gaining some stats is some dps you're gonna lose some armor rating but who care you do more dps so if you're a speed runner you're gonna go for that or the nets or watch your speeds that is better than the attuned leather pants but that is harder to make fit into your build because you're gonna have to change some harnessing on it and it's gonna be hard to make it fit into your build but if you manage to do it, it's going to work way better. You're going to do 20% more DPS than all your DPS with the Nets or what. But yeah, right now this is what I had. Uh, so you see, this is how I'm min max. Maybe there's a better way to min max. There's some gem, as you can see, that make you do more melee DPS. And since it was on one of my PDP set, I just put that. And it worked, you know, and for the boss raid, you're going to have to change your amulet. Like the first boss is strike, the second is slash, the third is Natsu. So I change with that and one or third gem, like uh, just to make sure I'm fine. Uh, my consumable, this is it. I don't use the, the serum potion because the cooldown is longer. So yeah, and stuff like that, you cannot use it because if you use it, it take off your ward potion. And this ward potion and the, the coating are really important. And if you're doing stuff like red, I recommend to take the infuse because if you're not doing it, it's bad for your group. Like it's sad, like that you're like throwing a bit and you're wasting everyone's time. So yeah, this is it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching and supporting this channel. I wish everyone a good day. Tell someone you love them. Salut. So I like roll this is messy guy issues. Yep, keep using those heavy attacks guys. Everybody in, attack where the spikes come out. Come over here where the spikes come out, Nora. Focus spikes. Heavy attacks, guys. 